All right, welcome to lesson 10 of our tutorial series on how to create 2048 in Unity. Normally we try to keep these basic tutorial series down to 10 lessons, but this will actually be the second to last lesson as there's a little more that we need to do. But for this lesson, we're going to work on scoring our game. This way the player will know how far they've gotten in the game. Now before we get started, I'd like to tell you about our Discord server, which you can join by clicking the Discord icon found on our website at www.infogamerhub.com. Now our Discord server is home to an amazing game development community. And so if you're needing help with Unity, or if you'd like to give help to other developers in our community, then hop on over and start chatting today. Now on with the lesson. All right, so to get started with being able to score our game, we first need a way to display the score. So let's create a UI button as a child to our game panel. We can then remove the button component. This will give us a UI image with a text child. Now I'm going to readjust this object so that it'll work better for displaying our score. All right, so I renamed this object to be score display. I then moved it up above our 2048 grid. I readjusted the size of the image and changed the color to the dark gray that we have for the cells. For the text, I made it right aligned, best fit, and I changed the color to white. I then set the text field to zero. From this point, let's open up our game controller script. So in this script, we need to create a new variable, which is going to be of type int, and it's going to be public, and we'll call it my score. We then need another variable of type text to hold our text display object. So this will be a serialized field, type text. Text isn't recognized, so we need to add the using unity engine.ui namespace. So with text selected, I'll hold alt and press enter, and then we'll select that namespace. We can then call this variable score display. At this point, we'll create a new public function. So I'll scroll down to the bottom. This will be a public void function. We'll call it score update. We then want to have a parameter of type int. And we'll call this score in. Then all we have to do is my score plus equals score in and score display dot text equals my score dot two string parentheses semicolon. We can then save this script and we'll go over to our fill 2048 script. Inside this script we have our double function and this is where we're going to be updating our score. Now it's up to you on how you want to score the game. You could either give the player the score of the single block before you combined it or you could either give them the score of the value after you combine the blocks. And that's how it is in the official 2048 game. And so here after we do value times equals two we're going to call our score update function. So game controller 2048.instance.score update and we'll pass in value. At this point we can save our script and go back to Unity. In the hierarchy we need to select the object that has our game controller script on it and we need to set the score display variable. So I'll select my text object and drag it in there. All right, now we can play through our game and test it out. All right, so here I have my two starting blocks if I press down then left, you can see that we now have the score four. Now eight, and if I press down, we just added another eight instead of four, and so we have the score 16. And the reason why we added the score eight was because it was a four and a four that combined. So it looks like everything's working now. Hey, thank you so much for watching to the end of this tutorial. If you learned something new like how to display a score to the player, then give this video a thumbs up. Now you only have one more lesson to go and you'll have created the basics for 2048. So keep going and click on the next lesson.